question 13 says a solid sphere of radius r carries a charge capital Q plus small q distributed uniformly over its volume. A very small point like piece of it of mass small m gets detached from the bottom of the sphere and falls down vertically under gravity. This piece carries charge q or other small q. If it acquires a speed v when it has fallen through a vertical height y c figure then assume the remaining portion to be spherical. And uh, let us look at the diagram, the diagram is something like this. So, the particle gets detached from here and as it moves through distance y vertically under gravity what is the expression for the speed it acquires and the four options are given. Well, the concepts involved here are of course, the concepts of electrostatics we can deal it in terms of the electrostatic potential energy and also there is gravitational force acting. Now, the two forces which are acting on the particle the electrostatic force and the gravitational force are both conservative that means, the mechanical energy of the particle is being conserved and in this case as it falls down there is decrease in the gravitational potential energy there is also decrease in the electrostatic potential energy and this decrease in the two potential energies is equal to the gain in the kinetic energy. Let us write those expressions and uh, so the equation we are getting here is half m v square that is the gain in the kinetic energy is equal to the loss in the gravitational potential energy which is m g into y plus the loss in the electrostatic potential energy. What is the expression for that? Well, that is in fact uh, capital Q into small q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and then within bracket the final separation if we look at the distance from the center is y plus r and initially it was r only. So, this then we are getting here within the brackets 1 by r minus 1 by r plus y. This is the expression for v, we can now solve it for v and if you solve it for v the option 4 matches with the expression for v square. That means, v square comes out as you know 2 y into small q capital Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R into R plus y into m plus g. So, option 4 is correct for this particular question and uh, we can now go to question number 14. Question 14 says the value of the acceleration due to gravity is g 1 at a height h equal to r by 2 where r is the radius of the earth from the surface of the earth. It is again equal to g 1 at a depth d below the surface of the earth. The ratio d by r equals a pretty easy one the question is related to gravitation and it is related to variation of g. The expression for g 1 in fact is it is equal to g m capital G being the gravitational constant m being the mass of earth divided by the distance from the center of earth now becomes r plus r by 2 that means 3 r by 2. So, in the denominator we have 3 r by 2 the whole square and this is then coming out as equal to 4 by 9 times g. So, g 1 is 4 by 9 times of g where g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth. Now, if we are going to depth d the value of g there becomes you know g on the surface into 1 minus d by r and according to the question that value is equal to g 1. So, that means according to the question we equate this to g into 1 minus d by r and solve for d by r. Well, if you solve it for d by r the value of d by r then comes out as 5 by 9 which means for this particular question 
option 1 is the correct option. Let us now go to question number 15. Question number 15 says for a concave lens of focal length f the relation between object and image distances u and v respectively from its pole can best be represented by and it is given that u equal to v is the reference line. The topic is the ray optics and it is about uh, concave lens the relation between the object distance and the image distance from the lens. Well, if we look at the options we know that in this particular case when the object is at infinity the image is virtual and it forms at the focus and for all other positions the image is between the optical center and the focal point of the lens and in all these cases the image is virtual as long as the object is real. Okay. It also is a fact that the value the modulus of v is less than the modulus of u except for one point that is when u is 0, when u is 0 v is also 0. Now, if we consider all these factors all these aspects we can see that the option 4 in fact is the correct option you know, which uh, combines all this we have to just consider this as a reference line the correct graph will be like this as u tends to infinity v tends to f okay. and u and v are of course equal at uh, the 0 values, but at other values of u the value of v is less than the modulus of u. Okay. So, option 4 is correct as far as this particular question is concerned it is time now to go to question number 16.